Hey guys, I'm your host ZFR Entertainment and welcome to the official Cyberpunk Lethal YouTube channel. Now, this video is going to serve as an introduction video explaining things such as what Cyberpunk Lethal is exactly and what you can expect to find on this channel in the near future. So make sure you perk up your ears because we have a lot to cover and we're going to try to keep this kind of compact. Now, the first and most important thing to cover is, is obviously what is Cyberpunk Lethal. Um, so to put it into simple terms, Cyberpunk Lethal is going to be a completely free, fan-made digital comic, both written and drawn by me. This comic is going to follow the story of a young man named Hiroshi, who is adopted into the ranks of the Yakuza in Night City at a young age. Now as one of the Yakuza's top solos, Hiroshi encounters a specific set of events that will turn his life upside down and send him on an action-packed adventure through the most dangerous parts of Night City in the year 2020. This comic will also contain compelling characters, heart racing action, and of course, an original story about love, loyalty, and respect, pulled straight from all the best parts of the lore, along with plenty of Easter eggs for the lore community to enjoy. Now, of course, I'm pretty sure all of you guys want to hear about the behind the scene details and everything that's going on there well the first thing i want to make clear is that i am not being paid and i definitely cannot be paid um to do to do this entire project so pretty much what i'm trying to say is i don't have any rights to the cyberpunk ip whatsoever this is just something i am completely doing as a fan now i might leave some of you to ask why i would do an entire comic free of charge and stuff like that because obviously it is a lot of work well there are a couple of different reasons one of the big ones is that like i just said i am a fan who is hyped for cyberpunk 2077 and i just wanted to do some art and some videos and content for the game so this is a really cool way to go um about that and two, I am also obviously an aspiring artist and writer, so I'm kind of hoping that this project will get my name out there a little bit, um, that you know I can build my reputation up a little bit more with this project. Also, if that doesn't really pan out and that doesn't happen, this will still look pretty good at the end of the day on my um, portfolio. So yeah, either way, that's a win-win. Situation. Um, but anyway, moving on um, to some more of the behind the scenes details. The next thing I do want to make clear is that I am a beginner. All right. In terms of art and writing, this will be the biggest project I've ever worked on. However, I definitely have been drawing and writing as a hobby for multiple years now so I'm I don't really want to call myself super inexperienced but on a professional level I don't have that much experience but I have been drawing and stuff for a long time but don't let that bug you too much because there is a certain level of quality that I definitely want to um, at least maintain for you guys I want to at least be a joy enjoyable level of quality to this project all right so moving on um another thing i want to talk about it is that it's also important to know that i am working on this alone because of this pro the production speed and overall quality might not be as insane as what you're in used to uh, as what you're sorry i can't talk today as what you're used to from bigger publishers and companies and stuff like that when it comes to comics. Um, however, the rough draft of the script is pretty much done. I'm doing a few um, refinements and tweaks here and there, but for the most part, what I, the script is pretty much finished. I'm pretty sure what I have down for the script is what I want. Um, I'm just making a few tweaks here and there to some parts of it that I think can be a little bit better. 
Um, and with that being said, pretty soon I'm going to be starting um, character designs and stuff and I'm going to be writing out a lot of those. I was originally going to do this video next week. Um, pretty much announcing this, but since Night City Wire is a couple days away, I figured this would be a really good time to throw this out there to kind of build the hype a little bit. But anyway, the rough draft of the script is currently sitting at about 10 issues um, for the full length of the comic. So I think that's a pretty good length considering there's only like four or so months before um, Cyberpunk 2077 comes out and I was hoping to release most of this before the release to build even more hype for the game and maybe even serve as a little bit more of a simple entry level story to the Cyberpunk universe because the game sounds like it's going to go really in depth with a lot of stuff from the lore and if you're not familiar with a lot of um, stuff from the cyberpunk lore there's definitely going to be some things that you might miss out with um, when it comes to the game story so yeah hopefully cyberpunk lethal will kind of um, just serve as something for people who aren't as well versed in the lore to kind of just get a, a pretty standard or first impression type look into the cyberpunk universe all right now the final thing i want to talk about in terms of the comic itself is that i have made the decision to do it in black and white and with, with the exceptions of the um covers of course i mean obviously those are going to be in color and stuff now, before I really get into talking about this, I do want to say right off the bat that I know that this is probably going to rub some people the wrong way, given how colorful the Cyberpunk universe is. And trust me, I feel the same way. I, a part of me really wants to do this in color, wants to go all out with the colors and stuff. Like the artist, and, like the artist side of me wants that really bad. But I've kind of been testing out the black and white um, route and then going back to the um, color route and stuff like that. And I just feel like since this is my first time doing a comic and since I do want this to be really high quality for my first comic, um, for, for it being my first comic, you know, given that I might have to go back and make edits here and there and given that I want it to look good on almost every page and stuff like that you know even though it's fan made i want there to be i want to be consistent you know what i'm saying so that combined with the fact that i do have a real life job and that i am um running other youtube channels and stuff like that and doing other things it's just going to be way too much it's going to take up way too much time and it's going to be way too much pressure to try to color all of it so yeah, that's just not going to really fit into my schedule, so unfortunately I am going the black and white route, but I promise I'm going to throw some things in there um, to kind of spice up the black and white. Um, there might be color here and there um, just for like specific panels and you know specific moments where I feel like it's needed and stuff. And but it's for the most part the entire comic is going to be black and white. So yeah, I hope you guys can understand why I end up making that decision. Um, but anyway, moving on. Now that you know about Cyberpunk Lethal and what it is, let's talk about the rest of the channel. So other than Cyberpunk Lethal update videos and stuff like that. That I'm going to be uploading to the channel and I don't know I'm planning on trying to um, put the comic in both like a form where you can download it and where you're going to be able to read it on your own and view it and stuff and then I'm thinking about possibly getting a video version of it um, going here on the channel but um, we'll see how well that works out so don't quote me on that just yet um, but other than that, other than update videos about the comics and stuff like that, um, we're also going to be doing a few basic lore videos that are going to um, help better explain certain 
things that you might see within the comic um, and kind of give you a uh, you know idea of what some of the stuff that's going to be popping up in the comic is so you're going to see those um, coming out you're going to, there's going to be those lore videos and also I plan on doing videos obviously surrounding Cyberpunk 2077 later on this year on the channel um, so you're going to see reaction videos for any trailers and gameplay that they show from here on out obviously Night City Wire is coming out so I'm probably going to react to some of that um, I'm going to be doing a full walkthrough on the channel of Cyberpunk 2077 um, I've already decided that for my first character, for my um, first build, I want to recreate the character, that the main character for the comic, and that's going to be the character that I played through Cyberpunk 2077 as, so that's pretty cool too. Um, also, we're going to do some character builds here on the channel. Those are pretty popular and perform really good on my other channel. So I'm really excited um, to bring them over here. I think Cyberpunk 2077 is going to be such a good game to do character builds with. So I'm really excited um, to bring that to you guys. I think you're all going to really enjoy that. And of course, we're going to be doing an in-depth review and analysis of the entire game after we complete it and stuff. And, you know, I'm going to do multiple... Um, playthroughs and stuff like that I'm going to play through the game multiple times with different characters different abilities and stuff like that we're going to, we're going to make all types of um, videos about cyberpunk basically here on this channel and I am excuse me I am going to keep this video I mean this channel mostly cyberpunk related so with that being said that's pretty much all you're going to see on this channel if you want other stuff from me, once again, I have a main channel, ZFR Entertainment, that you guys can go check out. So, with that being said, um, that's it for this video, you guys. I just really wanted to um, get this news out here about Cyberpunk Leaf. We'll start hyping you guys up about it, start getting it into the community. Because I am planning on starting on the um, actual comic pages and panels next week here coming up and this weekend i'm going to be doing a lot of character designs this weekend and early and going into the earlier parts of next week and stuff like that so yeah you're going to start seeing a lot of um stuff pop up for cyberpunk lethal and for this channel so i feel feel like this is the time to go ahead and let you guys in on it and to go ahead and announce it so yeah, once again, like I said, if you guys enjoyed this video and want more stuff from me, make sure you subscribe to the main channel because we talk about everything over there. You know, if we want to talk about movies, about games, whatever, that, that's, like our, that's like our go crazy channel over there. So um, ZFR Entertainment, for those of you who haven't heard about, I'll put the link in the description to this video. So yeah, overall... That's all for this video, you guys. But for now, thanks in advance for any of the support that this video gets. Any of the support that this project gets, I will appreciate it so much. A uh, tremendous amount of appreciation for any support this gets. So, um, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave your comments. Subscribe. Feel free to ask questions and everything like that. I love interacting with you guys um, in the comments and stuff like that on videos. So, yeah. Um, I'll have other information going up soon about like where you can find me on Twitter. Um, and uh, probably an Instagram page. Probably um, an email coming and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'll have all that information coming soon. But for now... Thanks once again, you guys. I will see you on the next one. ZFR out, guys.